Hi, my name is Allie. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your email in Microsoft Outlook 2007. The first thing you're going to do is go to the Tools menu here at the top and go to Account Settings. Then you'll click New. Now you may be tempted to go ahead and put in your information in these boxes here, but hold off. What you're actually going to do is just check this box that says Manually Configure Server Settings for Additional Server Time. And click Next. Then you're going to make sure that Internet Email is selected. It is the default, so go ahead and keep it there. Then click Next. And here are the boxes that you'll fill in. Starting from the top, your name is what shows up on the emails that other people receive from you. So in this case, we're just going to put my name, Allie. Then your email address, in this case, Allie at example.com. And then your account type. Our servers support either POP3 or IMAP, but which one you use is a matter of personal preference. Here's a quick rundown of the difference between the two. POP3 downloads emails in your inbox from the server onto your computer. This means that typically the only copy of your inbox is on your computer, making it not quite as good if you want to use more than one computer or device to check your email. IMAP, on the other hand, simply syncs up all of your folders, not just the inbox, with the server, meaning that you can access your email from more than one computer or device. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to do IMAP. Next, you're going to type in the incoming mail server. That'll be mail your domain name, example.com in this case. And then your outgoing mail server, which is the same thing, mail.example.com. And then your username. That's going to be your email address, so ally at example.com. And the password is whatever was set up for that email address. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that you do check this box that says remember password. That makes it so that you don't have to type in your password again every single time you try to get your email. Next, you're going to go ahead and click on More Settings. And then you're going to go to Outgoing Server. And check the box that says My Outgoing Server Requires Authentication. You're going to go ahead and leave it at this option. Use same settings as my incoming mail server. What that means is that when you try to get email, it's going to log into the server using this username and password, the same one it uses to grab your email in the first place. You're going to go ahead and go to the Advanced tab. Now this is where you set up whether you want to use SSL or not. SSL basically protects the connection between your computer and our servers to make sure that nobody else can snoop in. Whether you want to use SSL is a matter of personal preference. In this case, we are going to use it. So pull down this drop-down list and click SSL, and the same with the one underneath it, SSL. Now you'll notice that it changed the number over here for incoming server. It used to be 143, now it's 993. But it didn't do that with outgoing server. It used to be 25 and it's still 25. We actually need to change that. Go ahead and change the outgoing server to 465, and then click OK. Test your account settings. And there we go. It completed successfully. So go ahead and close it and click Next and then Finish. And you can close that. And as you can see, it already started downloading my email. And there you go. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any problems, feel free to call our support line anytime 24-7 and have a great day.